place value is the foundation of our number system. When you add, you add according to place value. Same thing for subtraction. Multiplication and division, also done by place value. So let's look at some of the words or places that we use in place value. Think of the number 329,678. Notice I don't use the word and in there. And is reserved for a decimal point. If I had anything further on this side, say I have a three there, I would read this 329,678 and three tenths. But we'll get into that later. Looking at this place, this is my ones place. This is my tens place. Notice I'm going to run out of room right away. I'm going to go crooked on you. This is my hundreds place. We have a base 10 system, meaning these are all going to be ones with zeros on it. One, ten, hundred. Your next place then is going to be a thousand just by adding one more zero on. Then another one gives me ten thousands, and then one more zero gives me a hundred thousand. So this number, I'm going to group into threes. This is the first three. This is where I use the name thousands. 329 thousands, and then 678 and three tenths, but I'm not looking at that right now. Let's, let's look at some place values that are on the right side of the number. Remembering this is your ones place. This is the decimal point, which is the break between the whole number part and the fraction or decimal, decimal parts. What I've got is the place directly to the right of your decimal is your tenths. Now notice over here, we had this one was tens. Notice here I've got to have the th. The th is what's going to tell me it's um, on the small side, tenths. It gives me the small end. Notice I also had here, this was my ones place, and I don't have ones. I start right away with tenths. This one then is going to be my hundredths place, and this is my thousandths place. Notice that I'm going in exactly the same order so that my starting point is always my decimal, and it's going to be here tens or tenths, hundreds, hundredths, thousand, thousandths. Okay, so now to read this number, you read the number in front of the decimal, 3, and then read the number, 27, and then your place value. So it's 3 and 27 thousandths. So looking at the place value that's on the smaller or fractional or decimal side of your numbers, if you have one place it is tenths. That means the last word you're going to say is the word tenths. This would be one tenth. Okay, if I've got two places, I'm going to be in hundreds. Again, hundreds is going to be the last word you say. So it would be twelve hundreds. Three places give me thousands. So this would be a hundred twenty-three thousandths. Four places is ten thousandths, so this would be one thousand two hundred thirty-four ten thousandths. Five places, and this is getting to a point that not many people use these many places. There would be some fields that you would have to, but not too many. But five places is going to be hundred thousandths. Notice that it does have the TH 
the TH, the TH, the TH, the TH. That always tells you you're at the small end. This would be 12,345 hundred thousandths. Six places, and that's as far as we'll go because not many people need it at that point. Six places is millions. So this is going to be 123,456 millionths. So now, what happens, I know reading the behind the decimal part, what do I do if I have numbers in front of the decimal? I read them in four different ways. I read the number in front, I read the decimal as an and, I read the number, and I will read the place value. So this would be 20 and 1 tenth. This would be 303 and 12 hundredths. This would be 45 and 123 thousandths. Four things, number in front, the decimal as an and, the number behind, and then your place value.